your show is big. Play that music, it's a super gig. All stories take us anywhere together. <laughs> okay, players, it's time to play Jack's Super Adventure Challenge. First up is Mia. On your mark, get set, go! Uh. Mia's off to a great start. <laughs> She's reached the bridge. <laughs> She's down the slide. <laughs> she spins three times. And she finishes in... Five fingers! Great job, Mia! Thank you! My turn! Okay, Eddie. On your mark, get set, go! Go, Eddie, go! Go, Mia, go! <gasps> <laughs> Sorry, Kobe. I'm okay. We're playing Jack's Super Adventure Challenge game. Want to play, Kobe? Um... Uh, oh, we should get everyone to play. Yeah! Come on, you guys. We're all going to play Jack's adventure game. Sounds like fun. Okay. Cool. But if we're all playing, we need a bigger place with bigger challenges. The, the jungle. jungle! Let's go! Yay! Okay. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure. Exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can Today's game, I'm your host, Jumping Jack the Adventure Man. First, I'll divide you into teams of two. Team one, always ready Eddie and magnificent Mia. Yeah! Next, team Emma, amazing Emma and Tessa style Tessa. Have fun. Our final team, super duper Sophie. Yes. And can do Kobe. The first adventure challenge is the Outrageous Ostrich Walk. One team member will walk the line, the other will stay on the ground to help. Both will walk like an ostrich. Wow. Awesome. This looks kind of hard, Sophie. What if I can't do it? That's why we're a team, Kobe. We'll do it together. We'll go first. Tessa does this all the time in our gymnastics class. So, I'll walk the line. Huh? But if Tessa knows how to do it, shouldn't she walk the line? I think Emma wants to challenge herself on this challenge. I can do this. Uh, uh, Woohoo! Yeah! Our turn! Okay! Squawk, squawk, squawk! <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, guys! You want to do it, Sophie? Sure. I've never done it before, but I'll try. Uh, oh. Whoa! Whoa. <gasps> Whoopsie! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hooray! On to the next one! I'm for the silly lily pad frog hop! Here to show us how it's done, is our good friend, Finnegan Frog! 
Wow! He can really jump! And ribbit, too. In this challenge, one team member will hop from silly pad to silly pad, landing with a... We'll go first! Ribbit! 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 A perfect performance by Eddie! Yeah! Good job! My turn! Ribbit! Ribbit! Ball! <gasps> Ugh! Okay, Kobe, your turn to try it. Me? Oh, my tummy is feeling kind of funny. Oh, dear. It's no fun playing when you have a tummy ache, Kobe. We can finish the game tomorrow if you're not feeling good. No, it's not that bad. I just don't think I should try jumping. Don't worry. Kobe will rib it while his partner Sophie takes the jumps. I can do that. Great, let's do it. Ribbit hook. Ribbit hook. Ribbit. Yes! Nice, nice one, one Sophie. Sophie! Yay! Way to go, Sophie! Good ribbits, too, Kobe. Oh, uh, thanks. Our last challenge! It's the High Climbing Super Slide Challenge! Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah! I love slides! Looks like fun, huh, Kobe? Actually, my tummy does still feel a little funny. It's okay. We'll just watch. Here we go! Hooray! And the players begin the climb! Uh-oh. Uh, Tessa's having some trouble. Uh, but Ready Eddie is there to steady her. I can't... Mia can't quite reach. Wait, she's getting some help now. Tessa style. Thank you. Wow, they're all helping each other. They all made it to the top. Yeah. That was fun. Good job, everyone. You can make it to the top, too. If your tummy was okay. Do you think so? It might take a few tries, but I'm sure you could do it. Come on, let's watch him slide down. Here I come! Yeah! Yeah! Sophie, I think I want to try it. I've never done it before, and I'm really nervous, but I want to try it. Yay, Kobe! It's so much fun. Yeah! Kobe, what about your tummy ache? Well, I think my tummy's just feeling nervous. Like it's filling up with butterflies. I get those. Sometimes it even feels like there's birds in there. Does it feel all flip-floppy? Uh-huh. That happens to me sometimes, too, when I'm trying something new. Mine gets all sloshy back and forth, like the ocean. Jumping Jack's Super Adventure Challenge makes everyone a little nervous sometimes. That's why we have teams to help each other with our flippy, floppy, sloshy butterfly tummies. I wish I had told you all how I was feeling before. Maybe I could have done the challenges. It's never too late to play this game, Kobe. Huh? We did challenges to get here. Now we do them again to get back home. Uh, Sophie, will you help me? Of course. Okay, here I go. If you are feeling nervous, trying something new, when your tummy's turning upside down, here's what you can do. Just have a friend beside you to catch you when you fall. With a hand to hold and a little help, you can do it all. Yay, Kobe! I got to get two! A new thing can be scary if you've not done it before. But once you've gone and tried it, it's not new anymore.
a dig a do. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what an awesome game, Jack. Thanks. I've never hosted an adventure challenge before. Maybe someday I'll have my own adventure challenge game show. And Kobe can write the music for it. Write the music? That makes my stomach kind of flip floppy. But if you guys will help me, I think I can do it. Hooray! Hooray! Yes! Fring, fring. <laughs> huh? Uh, sorry, just doing some spring cleaning up here. No problem! Vroom, 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 vroom. Come on, Lucky. You can do it. Come on. So lucky to stay. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, he's good at that. Vroom, vroom! Shh, I'm pretending I'm a farmer. Uh, by lying on the grass with a book on your face? The book says farmers get up early in the morning. So I'm pretending it's still dark out and I'm waiting for the rooster to crow. <gasps> That's a funny sounding rooster. <gasps> That's not a rooster, Eddie. That's Farmer Jed. Being a farmer must be amazing. Yay! <laughs> they clean the barn, feed the chickens, take care of the sheep, <laughs> ride the tractor, did you say ride the tractor? <gasps> oh, we should go on a farm adventure. And I know exactly how to do everything on a farm. I learned it from this great book. That sounds fun. Can I feed the chickens? Sure. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! Yippee! Awesome! Yay! Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Where's the tractor? Time to farm. farm. Where are the sheep? Wait, I have to teach you the right way too. Woohoo! Farming's fun. Yeah. Be a farmer. <sighs> Hi, I'm Sophie. How is everyone today? <coughs> I don't know your names, but if it's okay, I'm gonna call you Daisy and you Sunny and you Esmeralda and okay, Sophie. Here's how to feed the chickens. You fill a scoop of chicken food and scatter it so they can peck at it. Easy peasy. Have fun. Okay. A barn has to be clean and organized. Everything put away. <sighs> in just the right spot. Great, we can do that. If the animals in the barn get in the way while you're cleaning, put them in their stalls, okay? Have fun! Mm -hmm. So you just drive through the fields and the tractor will pick the corn for you in nice, neat, straight lines. Have fun! Okay. <laughs> When it's time to move the sheep to a new field, you just rattle the food in this bucket and they'll follow you anywhere. <laughs> Whoa, that's a great trick. Uh-huh. So let them graze for a little bit longer, then use this trick to move them. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna go pick some apples. Have fun! Hmm. Emma did say have fun. Nope. Not ready to pick. Not ripe. Not ripe. Mm. <gasps> ripe! Mmm. It feels so good when everything's done by the book. Huh? Oh, no. You're supposed to be feeding them lunch. I am feeding. Huh? Yeah! <gasps> what is Eddie doing? I am feeding you lunch. I'm just doing it in my own fun way. Awesome! <laughs> Eddie, you're supposed to be collecting corn, not driving in circles. Making a mess! Don't worry, Emma! The corn's all going into the wagon! And I'm not making a mess! I'm making a mess! What? I can't hear you! Oh no, what's going on in the barn? <gasps> Mia, what in the world are you doing? I asked you to move the sheep, not dance with them. I'm doing both. See, when you showed me that trick with the bucket, I... Oh, Fooey! What now? Kobe, you were supposed to put the animals in the stalls when they got in the way. Why didn't anybody listen to me when I told them what to do? We are doing what you told us, Emma. We're cleaning the barn. And the animals aren't in the way. They're helping. Bernie's helping us lift hay bales into the loft. Show her, Bernie. Ta-da! Everyone's got a job. Thanks, guys. Huh. You're right. This place does look clean and organized. We did do what you asked us to do, Emma. We just did it Tessa and Kobe and cow style. <laughs> oh no, the chickens. Sophie, they never got their lunch. They did get their lunch. It's a nice day. So I used the scoop to fill a bucket with chicken food and we came out here. <laughs> it was fun. Are you sure they got enough to eat? Daisy, did you get enough to eat? None of this is exactly how I asked them to do it. But I guess it's all working out okay. But what about Eddie and the corn? I caught all the corn in the wagon I was pulling, just like you asked me to. See? But I also made a maze for us to play in when we're done. You told me to have fun, so I did. And look! Mia's having fun, too! Yeah, she moved the sheep into a new field. She just did it in her own fun way. Yep. <laughs> if you've got something to get done, a friend can help you through. But the way they like to do it may not be the same as you. So we all do things by the book. But I do them test the stuff. I like to add a Sophie twist. Whatever makes you smile. People do things differently than other people do. The different way we do things is what makes us me and you. If stuff gets done, why not have fun? Being different is okay. It's a scientific fact that we all have our own way. People do things differently than other people do. The different way we do things is what makes us me and you. Me and you. Awesome! Congratulations, everyone. 
You were all really great farmers today, and you got everything done in your own special way. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oops. Uh, we kind of left a mess here. I guess we better clean up. Okay, here's how we should do it. Uh, I mean, how do you guys want to do it? I'll pretend I'm a chicken and pick stuff up from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you mean peck stuff up? <laughs> I'll collect the stuff in the wagon like I collected the corn. And I'll lead the way, just like I led the sheep. We'll make it a pickup parade. Well, I've never cleaned up this way before. But it looks like fun. It is fun, Emma. Follow me. Let's do it. The pickup parade. Was there. <laughs> Just trying to help. Nice jumping, Jack. <laughs> nice sleeping, Lucky. <laughs> Me and I are going to the jungle today. You guys want to come? Sure. Yeah. We're going to see lots of animals. Hey, I know a good animal joke, Mia. Where do cows like to go? Go on Saturday night. You forgot to say that part. Where do cows like to go on Saturday night? Where? To the movies. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Thanks. Come on. Let's go to the jungle. Woo it's kind of muddy there, Jack. Try not to get too dirty. <sighs> okay. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. See any lions or tigers or bears today, Eddie? <laughs> Maybe all three. Watch out for the puddle, Jack. I see it, Emma. Huh? <laughs> I think I see a parrot. Really? Where? <laughs> Come on. Uh, I'll help you up. Uh-uh. Okay. <sighs> it's not a parrot. It's a monkey. Look, there's an elephant. Look at me. I'm a 
<laughs> oh, 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 ee, ee, ee. You try one, Jack. Do an ostrich, do an ostrich. <gasps> Jack? Jack? Where did he go? He shouldn't go off by himself. He might get lost. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find him. Come on, this way! <sighs> Just because Emma's my big sister doesn't mean she has to help me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you two sisters? <laughs> <laughs> that looks fun. Cool! I love bananas. I love juggling, too. Wow! Cool trick. Let me try. Whoa! <laughs> uh, thanks. But I didn't really do that on purpose. No, I need a hand. Not a banana. <laughs> huh. You two sure are perfect for each other. But I'm not sure I belong here. Thanks for playing with me. <laughs> Look, a banana peel. Jack loves bananas. And he always peels them from the bottom up, just like this one. Good. We're on the right track. Let's hurry. Those monkeys were fun. But wow, they never stopped. Emma always stops before things get too wild. Oh, is that a hippo? Hello, I'm Jack, and I'm looking for someone fun to play with. <gasps> Here, come have a snack with me. I kind of like my fish cooked, and I'm not sure how to eat a coconut. It's easy. Like this. Hey! Me and my sister used to play a fun game with the pineapple. Mama taught me that mouths can do more eating when they do less talking. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Thanks for trying to share your food with me. But I'm not sure I belong here. Bye. Okay. See you later. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Emma knows what I like to eat. <gasps> Wait for us, Emma! We have to hurry. It's lunchtime. Jack must be hungry. <laughs> Thanks for the apple. You're welcome. Oh, and if you're still hungry, there's plenty more. Mmm. Mom? Dad? This is Jack. I found him in the jungle. I'd like him to be my brother. Isn't he cute? Thanks. This is great. You give me rides, we like the same food, and later, maybe we can play catch together. Cool! Hey, remember the time we played catch with those flamingos? Flamingos? What happened? Pink feathers! They were everywhere! <laughs> and we were sneezing! <laughs> I don't get it. What's so funny? I guess you had to be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for saying I could be your brother. But I'm not sure I belong here. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Emma never makes me feel left out. We always laugh about stuff together, just like the elephants. I wish Emma was here. Jack! Ah! Emma! There you are! Here, you must be hungry. And after that, you can have some of this. Howdy, Jack. <gasps> it's Pineapple Pete. Pineapple Pete is always sweet. <laughs> uh, what's so funny about a pineapple that's sweet? Oh, it's a sister-brother thing. I'm sorry I left without telling you, Emma. 
Sometimes I wish you wouldn't help so much. Okay, I get it. I'll try not to help unless you ask me to. You've got a deal, big sister. A sister is someone you can count on to lend a hand. You can always bet that a brother will understand. Whether you're home or out on the go, you still fit in. Family is who you know, outside and in. Brothers and sisters, no matter where you go, family are the best friends you will ever know. Brothers and sisters, no matter where you go. Let's go! All right! A brother shares what he's got, yeah. He won't think twice. A sister <laughs> will Adventure. Amazing! Jack saw lots of animals. Really close up! <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Were they friendly animals? Everyone is friendly in the jungle. Even the pineapples! <laughs> <laughs> so you guys want to play catch? Okay. I sure. do! Yeah! Uh. Huh? Whoa. <clears throat> Jack, let me show you the right way to catch up. <gasps> Sorry. Do you want me to show you? Not this time. I'd like to figure it out for myself. But thanks. Now let's play! All right! <laughs> okay, in this race, you hop to the tree on one leg, then hop back on the other leg. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> <laughs> There was a butterfly? Yes, and it flew right in front of me, or I would have won. Uh, I don't see it, Tessa. Are you sure there was a butterfly? Tessa never lies, Eddie. She would have won if it wasn't for that zigzaggy butterfly. Okay, if you say so. What kind of race should we do next? Oh, how about a snow saucer race? Snow saucer? But there's no snow. There isn't. Snow Globia. Great idea. Let's go. I love Snow Globia. <laughs> this is so fun! Yeah. <laughs> Your turn, Eddie. Super Speedy Eddie is always super ready! Ha! 
Should we play a little trick on him? <laughs> hey, where'd the snow saucer go? <gasps> Whoa. It's a, a... a snow creature! Roar! Roar! Cool. Hey, guys! Come look at this! <laughs> A big snow creature, and it took our snow saucer. Hmm. Maybe you just couldn't find it. Uh, no, no. The creature took it. Scientific fact: No one has ever seen a real, live snow creature. Are you sure you saw it? Well, no, I didn't really see the creature, but I saw its shadow. It was all like, ah, I'm a snow creature. Ah! Well, that old snow creature can't just take our snow saucer. Come on, let's get it back. Hmm. Ooh. 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 Yes! Hey, everybody! I found it! Stay! I found the snow creature! It's right here! Ha <laughs> ha, yes! Good one, my friend. Well, it was right there. Maybe it's behind the snowbank. Huh? Eddie, I know you feel bad about losing the snow saucer, but we all lose stuff sometimes. So maybe because you feel bad, you just think that a snow creature took our saucer. I didn't make it up! It's real! We have to keep looking! <sighs> we don't really have to find the snow saucer right now. We could build an igloo or make a snowman. No, Tessa. When we find the saucer, we'll find the creature. What if there is no creature, Mia? Eddie says there is, so it must be true. <laughs> It must be here. <gasps> Footprints! Roar. Guys, hurry, hurry! It's in the tree! <laughs> <laughs> I heard it! And there are footprints, right? No! They were here, I promise! It doesn't matter, Eddie. We don't need to find the saucer right now. We can go ice skating instead. You can go skate if you want to. I'm gonna keep looking. Great, let's go! Are you sure you don't want to come with us, Eddie? <sighs> no thanks. Okay. Bye, guys. Aren't you going, Mia? Nope. We have a snow creature to find. Thanks for believing me, Mia. You never lie, Eddie. So you must have seen it. Maybe it's inside that big log. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> Mia, the snow creature! Ooh, coming! Huh? Ugh, never mind. I want to blame you if you never believe me again in a gazillion years. But I do believe you, Eddie. Because look what I found in the log. I think the snow creature's been eating bananas. Hey, maybe we can get it to come to us. Come on. Snow creature that took our saucer. It was snow monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> they were just playing a trick on me. Now, 
Let's play a trick on them. Oh, Eddie! I hope the snow creature does not take our banana snowman while we go ice skating. Mmm, more bananas. <laughs> <laughs> you got us. <laughs> snow monkeys? What's going on? Hi, guys. Meet Eddie's snow creature. Huh? huh? These snow monkeys were playing a joke on Eddie. They pretended they were a snow creature and took the snow saucer. Pretty funny, right? So Eddie played a joke back on them, pretending to be a snowman. <laughs> He got us good, too. Wow. Well, we're sorry we didn't believe you, Eddie. Yeah. Sorry. Thanks, guys. And thank you, Mia, for believing in me and helping me solve this mystery. You're welcome. When a friend tells you something that is true, but you say it cannot be. Remember, being a good friend means taking time to see. A friend is like the shining sun. We feel their warmth and light. When we believe and trust each other, things turn out just right. We're friends, believing in friends, each and every day. True friends forever, always in every way. Good friends tell the truth to other friends. It's a scientific not trusting in your friends is not the nicest way to act. A friend will always be there and be kind and sweet and true. So believe and trust your friends cause they believe in trusting you. We're friends, believing in friends, each and every day. True friends forever. Racing was a great idea, Sophie. Really great. So fun. What an adventure. Thanks. We're really sorry we didn't believe you about the snow creature, Eddie. It's okay. And now I know what it feels like when someone doesn't believe you. I'm sorry I didn't believe you about the butterfly during the race, Tessa. Thanks, Eddie. But there's no butterfly in my way now. Race it to the tree and back. You're on. jungle, Sophie. But this polar bear won an all-expense-paid vacation here, where it's nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Look! Here comes a fire truck! <laughs> Is firefighter Erica there? Can you see her? Yep! And firefighter Rob, too! Cool! I bet they're going to put out a fire or rescue someone. Ooh, I'd love to be a firefighter. Me 
Me too. Me too. Why don't all four of us be firefighters? We can be a team. Yeah. A team. Yippee. Yay. Woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. someone to rescue. Tessa, look! I think someone found us! Oh dear! Oh my! Oh goodness! Oh! Oh dear! Oh my! Excuse me! We're firefighters! Can we help you with something? Yes! You can! Well, maybe you can. I hope you can. Can you? We'll do our best. What's wrong? A friend came to visit me, and now she can't get home. Too much snow, don't you know? Don't worry. This firefighting team will get your friends home safe and sound. Firefighters to the rescue! Uh, what's wrong, Sophie? I don't know. in the snow. Come on, team. Let's work together and dig this truck out. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, my. My friend will never get home now. This is tragic, terrible, awful! Don't worry. We'll get her home. It just might take a little while. Hmm. Or maybe not. I have an idea. <laughs> I don't think a fire hose can dig us out of the snow. I think Sophie has a different idea. Whoa. <sighs> Mia, can you turn on the automatic hose winder, please? Okie dokie. Oh, yummy! I never would have thought of that, Sophie. <laughs> that was brilliant! Now let's go rescue my friend! Firefighters to the rescue! Oh, 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 my friend! There she is! is a giraffe. A giraffe in the snow. They won an all-expense-paid vacation here and couldn't resist. They? She and her baby daughter. <laughs> Woo! Come on, team. Let's help the baby get off the ice. Don't worry. We firefighters will get you both home safe and sound. Whee! Whoa! going to be a little harder than we thought. Why don't we try using the rescue bucket? Great idea, Tessa. It's 
not moving. <gasps> There's ice all around it. It's frozen. Come on. Maybe if we work together, we can lift her out. But first, we need to get her to the side of the pond. Oh, oh. oh dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> She's too big. We can't lift her. We have to keep trying. <laughs> Wait. I have an idea. Mia and Emma, come with me. Don't worry, little giraffe. We'll rescue you. Somehow. <laughs> <Ha>! <laughs> A baby giraffe can't climb a ladder, Sophie. You're right, Emma. Turn on the water, please, Mia. Okay. Water? What's that for? The water froze into an ice ramp. Maybe the little giraffe can climb up it. I think Sophie has a different idea. Tessa. Can you skate the baby up to the ramp? I'll try. Oh, I do hope this works! We work! Mama. Oh, brilliant! Genius idea! And such teamwork! You have really good ideas, Sophie. Thanks. Now let's get these drafts home. Oh, goodness. That ice ramp certainly does look like a lot of fun. <laughs> well, oh, maybe just one quick slide. Oh, my. Could I get a little help here, please? What's wrong? Can't you just fly down? I'm afraid we penguins don't fly. This definitely calls for a firefighter rescue. But our rescue bucket is frozen to the truck. And our rescue ladder is frozen to the pond. We need a different idea, Sophie. Maybe today penguins can't fly. Huh? Are you ready to fly, penguin? Ooh. Oh, my. This does sound exciting. Yes! I'm ready! One can see the problem, two can talk it through, three can work together, four know what to do. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. With teamwork, teamwork, everything's more fun. Yeah, it's just more fun! One, two, three, four! One friend can be helpful. Two can help much more. It's better when there's three, and even better when there's four. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. Get it done. With teamwork, teamwork, everything's more fun. Woohoo! That was brilliant! Great job! <laughs> I did it! The firefighting team made me fly! Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. That was a different and very cool way to rescue a penguin, Sophie. Thanks. Now let's get these giraffes back home. Yay, team! We did it! Go, firefighters! <laughs> <laughs> We make a great rescue team, guys. Yeah, woohoo! Your ideas were so helpful, Sophie. Yeah, they were really different. Sophie, come look. Okay. Ta da! Whoa! Awesome! Cool. Your polar bear on vacation took her jungle friends on an ice filled adventure. Cool! <laughs> <laughs> Eddie throws the ball. And Eddie hits it. Huh. Yeah! Oh, he's running. He's running. And he slides. Huh? Whoa! Careful, Eddie. I'm dancing here. Oops. Sorry. Speak. Roll over. Ooh. Tessa, can you stay over there, please? Sorry, but I need space.
space for my dancing. My baseball game needs lots of space, too. And my animals need lots and lots of space. I'm going to have a zillion animals in my very own castle when I grow up. I'm going to play any way I want to in my grown-up space. I'm going to sing and dance in my space anytime, all the time. Hey, why wait? We can go on an adventure and have our own grown-up spaces right now. An, an adventure. adventure! Great, come on, let's go! Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. But it is pretty cool. Hello! I'm Perry Peacock. I help people find the perfect space to live in. And this is the friendliest space in town. Are animals allowed? Is there lots of room to play? Are the ceilings high? I jump really high when I dance. Yes, yes, and yes. In fact, we have only one rule here. Be friendly to each other. Ooh! When, when can, can we, we move, move in? in? Right now! Yes! Cool! Let's go! Enjoy! And remember, be friendly! Cool! I can't wait to play wall to wall, any ball all over this place! Even a hundred. <laughs> ah, Steady Eddie is ready to play. <laughs> okay. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Boogie to the beat. Tessa style. Say something. Oh! Oh! He's shaking the whole building. 
building. from this building today. Uh, are you being friendly? They started it, not me. Well, I have to practice. Hey, guys! I'm not the problem. Um, excuse me. We're not listening. Mia's right. We haven't been listening to each other at all. No, I guess not. So let's talk. One at a time, okay? Eddie? <sighs> okay. So, I want to play games in my place. And I want to sing and dance in my place. And I want lots of animals in my place. But your animals are messing up my games. And I can't sing because of your loud games. And your singing keeps bothering the animals. Hmm. Maybe having our own space doesn't mean we can do anything we want any time we want. Maybe we have to listen to each other, too. And be friendly. Yeah. Uh -huh. So... I guess I could only sing and dance in the morning. I could keep less animals inside. Maybe just a cat. And a dog. And a bird. Oh, and of course my goldfish. I'll take the others to the jungle where they'll have lots more room to play. I could play my outdoor sports outside and only play indoor sports inside. Yes! Excellent! Now you're following our one and only rule, being friendly to each other. Thank you. Goodbye! <coughs> What is best? Not just for you, but for the rest. Everybody's better off if you put this to the test. Don't only think of yourself. The things you do affect others too. You don't have to put fun on the shelf. Just respect the people around you. Don't only think of yourself. The things you do affect others too. that we all need our own space sometimes. And sometimes we can share. Let's do that sharing thing now. Great! How about a game of kickball? <laughs> Over here! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Time out! Sophie and Colby are playing here. Right. Our noise might bother them. And the ball might hit their sandcastle. Oh, when Lucky's trying to sleep. 
Let's play on the other side of the yard. It's the friendly thing to do. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Super geek. Our stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea. 